I lived in constant fear. My parents were constantly fighting. My father was um, an alcoholic. I, I felt um, always that I was alone. Even in the midst of people, I was always alone and had to protect myself. Tracy Judkins ran away from the chaos of her dysfunctional family at the age of 17. To support herself, she ran into an even darker place. The world of topless dancing is a world of fabrication. The only way you're accepted is sexually. You have to learn how to manipulate manipulation. Tracy also got hooked on methamphetamines. At first, when you, when, you, when you start this drug, there's this huge lie that it tells you. You are super powerful. You can do all things. It's euphoric. But no matter how much methamphetamine I used or how much alcohol I drank, it wouldn't make the pain go away. In 1996, Tracy found out she was pregnant. I um, had met my daughter's father um, in a restaurant. And while I was pregnant, I didn't use any alcohol or drugs. But as soon as I decided to pick up, that, that roaring lion was there waiting for me. And it came back a thousandfold. As a direct result of that, I lost like, everything. Including the only person she loved, her daughter. I went to my mother and told my mother I could no longer care for my child. My daughter was taken to her father and I, and I lost a joint custody. When I had lost my daughter, I remember being in the back seat of a car crying because I was supposed to have been in court that day and I couldn't go because I was too high. As Tracy's drug use escalated, she turned to crime to buy drugs. I began a journey of intense uh, violence, theft, uh, assault, I had no conviction at all. I had no fear. I had no fear because I didn't believe in God. Tracy was in and out of jail and mental institutions. The streets became her home. I had warrants out for my arrest. Uh, my own mother had a uh, order of protection against me because I became violent towards her. Finally, Tracy turned herself into the police and went to jail. I felt as though I hadn't just hit the bottom but I slammed through to the pit, and I felt such despair. There was absolutely no hope, no hope, no light. I cried out to a God I did not believe in. In my exact words, I said, if you're real, you've got to help me. Please help me. I was crying out again to a God I did not believe in. And it must have been, I don't know, about 10 minutes, crying and crying. And suddenly, out of nowhere, I felt a warmth um, hit both of my feet at the same time. And the warmth was so profound that in that fetal position, I had opened my eyes and shook the water, the tears out of my eyes to see who was touching me. And nobody was touching me. And the heat traveled up. And when it got right to my stomach, I knew what it was and who it was from. I knew it was a healing. And the words that came out of my mouth were, praise you, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. And how I knew to say that, I'll never know. <laughs> But the warmth traveled up my entire body, and I felt a comfort and a peace I had not felt all of my life. All of my life. And that was the beginning of my life. In 2005, Tracy entered a women's halfway house and went to church. The changes that started happening to me were so profound, so profound. I started to have an intimate relationship with Jesus. I was running to him. I wanted to know who is he, what's he about, you know, what what just what ha what happened to me, what did I experience? The healing that I received. I didn't say praise you, Muhammad, or praise you, universe. My exact words were praise you, sweet Jesus of Nazareth. And so I wanted to know that sweet Jesus of Nazareth. Today, Tracy is completely free from her drug addiction and mentors recovering addicts in Arizona. She earned her degree in business management and recently married. Jesus is my best friend. He's my Lord. He's my comforter. He's my savior to um, the, the person out there that has no hope, um, has no faith, that is steeped in disbelief that if you would humble yourself, do whatever it takes, fall on your knees, fall upon your face, and cry out to the God that can, I promise you that he will. I'm proof of it.